Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Just to remind you, on the unit circle, there are sometimes for uh, certain angles, we end up with a 30, 60, 90 triangle like this. And the longer leg is always radical 3 over 2, and the short leg is 1 half. So that's something you just have to memorize and know. 30, 60, 90 triangle, and the vertical and horizontal legs look like that. Also, we might have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which is an isosceles right triangle. These are 45 degree angles or versions of 45. So with the hypotenuse being 1, each leg happens to be radical 2 over 2. Now the markings you see here are from a previous video and hopefully you've watched it. If not, look for the title, How to Use the Unit Circle and it's Finding Triangles. Now the idea was, as I mentioned before, that for each angle given we have a right triangle and that gives us our sine and cosine values. Remember sine is always the vertical or the y value and the cosine is always the horizontal or the x value. Now in this case for a 30 degree angle you have this kind of relationship. One half is the short leg and radical 3 over 2 is the long leg. Or you might have a 45, 45, 90 triangle like this. Okay, that means that the legs are actually the same length. All right, so in this case, you're going to have radical 2 over 2 and radical 2 over 2. So keep in mind this information here as you try some math problems. Problem set 3, here we go. All right, now here are a couple quick examples. We give you the angle and want to know the sine value on number 37 and the sine value on number 38. All right, give it a try, figure out what kind of triangles they are, and go from there. All right, number 37, the sine of angle theta is radical 2 over 2, but it's negative. Now, where does that come from? Again, we find the right triangle. So here, we notice that 315, that's a 45 degree angle right there. That's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, right? That means the legs are both radical 2 over 2. All right, now, if it's talking about sine, remember that that's this leg right here and we are going down, so that's why it's negative radical 2 over 2. On number 38, it's negative radical 3 over 2, and why is that? Because at 240 degrees, that creates a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Notice how that would have to be 60 degrees. All right, so sine is the vertical leg here, and that is the longer leg, radical 3 over 2, but we are going down. So negative radical 3 over 2. All right, let's try some more. All right, 39 through 42, the angle's given, and you find the given values for the trig function. Go ahead and hit pause. Number 39, the sine of theta. Well, if it's the sine value, we know at 90 degrees, that's this vertical piece right here. And that, of course, is 1 because that's the radius of that unit circle. Okay, remember how it would be coming around like that? And that would definitely be the radius. So sine is positive 1. The cosine of theta at 150, again, you ask what kind of triangle is that? Well, that would have to be a 30 degree angle right there, wouldn't it? So that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now it says cosine, so that's got to be this leg right here. It's negative, and it's the long leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. There you go. Negative radical 3 over 2. Number 41, the sine at 210. What kind of triangle is it? Yep, that's another 30, 60, 90 triangle. The sine value is this vertical leg here. And notice how you are going down, so it's got to be negative negative one half. That's the short leg in that kind of a triangle, isn't it? Number 42, finally, is zero. Now wait a second, what does that mean? At 270 degrees, you are gonna be going around, and what kind of triangle is that? 
Well, the cosine value is the x value here. And if you are at this point right here, you have not gone either right or left. You have gone 0. So that's it's a little tricky, but you got to think of it in terms of x and y here. All right? The x value would be 0, and that's the cosine. Thanks again for watching this video. Now these have all been degree measures of angles. In my next video we're going to be exploring the radians and giving that a try. Thanks. Look for problem set 4. Alright, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.